We're going to put some methanol out of this tank here into, into here. And uh, we've already got a pretty set value for that on that um, side tube there. Okay, we've got the methanol ready in the methoxide mixer. The pool's all rigged up with health and safety gear. It's really important not to get any uh, sodium hydroxide in, in the gloves, so he's actually got a, a protection over the top of the glove. It's a really good idea. Um, the sodium hydroxide itself is in a pearl form, so it doesn't produce too much dust, but the pool's got a dust mask on anyway. Uh, goggles, obviously, that's, that's a good idea. If, um, if you feel any burning, Anywhere on your skin, it gets a bit gets on your head or anything like that. Just, just drop everything or put everything down and just wash it off, and you'll be, be absolutely fine. It's not um, massively dangerous stuff unless it gets trapped in, in a glove or in your boot or something like that. Uh, and then when we're working with it, we need to move quite swiftly but not uh, in a rush. Um, <clears throat> the reason is because sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide absorbs water also absorbs carbon dioxide from the air, both of which will actually spoil it. So um, again, we don't move too quickly because someone could fall over or drop it, but we'll just move at a nice steady rate. So um, see just zero scales, yep. uh, so off you go. Putting in 5.95 kilos for this batch. So the bag itself has already been nicely tied up to stop any water vapor from getting in it. So we undo that and then nice and swiftly move it out for the uh, pool. Um, so it's going to be a bag of uh, 7 hydroxide is in a round ball, it's in a cold form, so that's not, it's not too dusty. But uh, if we're working with potassium hydroxide, which is a flake, it is actually quite dusty, and I'd definitely be wearing a mask myself from that for many years. But uh, this, this, this stuff is, is, is nicer in that respect. Um, compared to the potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide is actually slightly stronger. So you need less, and it is um, about half the price. The only reason for using potassium hydroxide rather than sodium is that in very cold weather, the glycerol stays liquid. Thank 
25, no, 25 grams. So, bang on. Oh, it's bad, that can't be good, because I don't know what it is. And then we'll pour the granules into the fox up tank. Using a hand operated mixer, it's nice and safe. You haven't got any uh, machine, uh, uh, you haven't got any electric motors or switch gear or anything like that. It's, uh, it doesn't need to be massively fast, just to take our time. We'll spend uh, 10 minutes generally mixing it. And the uh, mixing process, we know when it's finished, when the, the, uh, there's no granules moving around in the bottom of the tank. So we can hear the granules moving. If we had an electric motor, we wouldn't be able to hear that. But we can, in this case, we can hear the granules at the bottom. So when the granules aren't audible, then that indicates that everything's mixed up. <laughs> 